Hey there, Cafe Mutant here, and we'll make this quick. Looks like the hack we discussed for the previous LEGO CMF series will also work for the next one. It was discovered by Alexander, who posted the information over on Twitter. He was able to get the collection early? Lucky! He was. He found it in a local shop, bought a box, and shared the information for others to enjoy. Yeah, but stuff can get pretty hard to find on Twitter. Which is why he kindly agreed for us to share it in a video. So, the way you do it is you use your phone's camera along with the QR reading app. Last time we used the QR reader for iPhone. And with it, you'll get a bunch of numbers. We're looking for the first set. So without further ado, here are the many figs and their associated codes. Make sure to take screenshots of the ones you're interested in. The first one is the modern astronaut with its number ending in 696. Next is the robot human suit for tiny aliens ending in 687. Followed by the gray alien tourist, my fave, with 694. Then we have the retro space woman with 690. Tron Redux with 693. The Space Nurse with Pink Space Baby ends in 691. The Alien in UFO Costume has 692. The Ice Planet Redux with Space Penguin is 686. The Classic Space Robot, which has legs that would be ideal for the Lost in Space Robot, is 688 or 685. Alexander wasn't sure which was which. The Alien Insectoid reminds me of Galaxy Squad. And it's 689. Orion with translucent parts is 695. And the mutated Blacktron is either 688 or 685. It'll be a gamble between it and the robot until someone else can confirm the numbers. What? You mean it's not certain? No. And as per last time, there were two different codes for different parts of the world. These ones should be good for Europe. I'm sure we'll get some more information soon. In any case, it's early days and the series hasn't even been officially revealed yet. Someone seriously messed up by having it available so early. They did. But at least it's good to know the codes are making a comeback. So much better to know what you're buying ahead of time. Never like the gambling aspect of these series. And if this works, it'll be great news for kids and collectors alike. Let us know what you think in the comments, and we'll show it to you again next time.